Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. You should definitely hit subscribe and the notification bell before we go any further and you realise how fucking garbage this content is. And if this is not your first time on the channel, welcome back, you absolute fucking degenerate. So you'll notice the lack of uh, visuals going on today. Well, that's because, frankly, I think for a speaking piece, I'm not necessarily needed to be looked at. So think of it as lazy, think of it as whatever you like. This is definitely going to be one that you can put down and just listen to from a distance. So as you'll all well know, especially if you're someone who does follow the channel, I've been playing Dinos for the last few weeks. Uh, unfortunately, we went midway into last format. We didn't really like what else was on offer, and I felt, well, you know what, I can play Dinos well enough, and I can learn the difference in the combos, especially when Scraptor comes along, and we can go along there. And then, of course, as we all know notoriously, the ban list has dropped and killed Miscellaneousaurus. And by killed, I mean it's a 1, but obviously that is a pretty significant hit. Some people are trying to play it down. Honestly, I think it's a much bigger hit than people necessarily think, but we'll get into that all later on. But I'm waffling a little bit, so let me talk about what I'm actually here to talk about. So, of course, we are talking about Miscellaneousaurus in particular here. And when I say we're talking about Miscellaneousaurus, of course, we're talking about dinos by extension and what options they have and all of that good stuff. Now, I'm going to be talking a little bit about why Miscellaneousaurus got hit, or at least why I think it got hit, and what we can possibly do to look at replacing it, and then, of course, what we do with dinos going forward. Now, this is definitely not an absolute conclusion. These are definitely just some of my thoughts, but I'd really appreciate you guys listening and let me know exactly what you think. If you disagree, you agree, or what opinions you have on how the deck plays going forward. So we'll start off with why Miscellaneousaurus got hit. So the first thing to note is that obviously Miscellaneousaurus got hit because the card was pretty fucking broken. Uh, it offered pretty much endless grinding, it offered ignorance of opponent's cards, it, uh, it was searchable, it enabled pretty oppressive boards as a result of what it could do, it was an extender, it was protection, it was a play starter. Now that's a pretty fucking good card, in fact not many other decks can boast having any card that fills all of those boxes, it's just absolutely insane. And then, of course, as outside of the game mechanics, the card doesn't really sell products anymore. The likes of Animadorn, the Dura reprint, the structure deck has already had it, and the deck is likely going to be a fine rogue pick, even if this hit is stronger than anticipated. And then if we look at the scrap variant, the cards used in unison are commons or had multiple prints, or with the exception of Wyvern and Chimera, which are no longer in print in circulation, but the chances are that by the time they get reprinted, they won't be high demand cards anyway, nor would they have any particular value. They're not staples, so they're not likely to sell sets, and that's the reality of it. Again, just my opinion, but you've got to think about these things anyway. Of course, Konami has to be able to sell products, and if they can't sell products, we don't have a game to play. Now, on to replacing Misk and what kind of directions the deck can take going forward. Obviously, we can see already that replacing Miscellaneousaurus will be no easy feat. There's no all-in-one solution that covers all these bases, or we'd be playing it already. If there was, and it was generic, or dino-friendly, it would almost certainly be on the list too. And if it wasn't on the list, well, everyone would be playing it. So most commonly, I'm seeing people trying to find ways to recycle Miscellaneousaurus. To me, this really just doesn't seem correct. Whether it's putting it back into the graveyard, recycling the single copy via a summon, adding it back to the hand, popping it back into deck, all of it just stinks of desperation. The reality is that, much like when Kagari went to one for Sky Strikers and everyone tried to find ways to keep recycling it, I'd argue that you're far better served by finding ways to improve what you have, rather than using weaker cards to do little else to advance your plays in the deck instead. Now the truth is we don't really know what the answer to the replacement is. Essentially it seems like the deck has two different ways that it could go about playing going forward. Now the first of these options is of course going first, like we have been for the most part the last few weeks, making a combo type board, probably using the scrap engine and still hoping that they can't break your board, and sticking with that. Now Lost World does still offer much protection and one of the meta contenders for next format in the likes of Tri Brigade does actually struggle to deal with the token. Alternatively we could try and go second, much like we did before the scrap to combos came along, ignoring our opponents and trying to break their board. 
Now, I do know a lot of people will actually default to the second, but personally, I'd actually hedge my bets on going first. I don't think the deck is actually strong enough when going second, particularly once Miscellaneousaurus is at one, which will probably be by the time this video hits the screen. The issue for me is that with Misk at 1, we still have the issue of not being able to grind in the same way, meaning we'll just lose the long game and burn out of resources like we did before in the event we don't kill our opponent. Now, that could be an argument that, of course, you can make for going first, but the reality is that if we can go first and make an oppressive board, then we don't have to play beyond that anyway. Now, that tactic of going second does seem fine when we're forced to go second, or if we want to force our opponent to go first, but it feels too much of a glass cannon strategy. I'd argue that going first in formats where every deck wants to go first and is the must option is the best way to go. Other decks are simply better at going first than we would be at going second. So we should opt to go first, force them into a weaker position by making them go second and putting ourselves an advantage when the dice roll or result goes in our favour. Now that's not to discount going second as an option to go down the route of, of course, Traditionally, dinos have always done this very well, but the reality is that I think so many of the decks that are going first in this next format and coming up formats are going to be so much stronger than dinos is at going second, you're probably going to lose that battle. So we should go first and instead try to make oppressive enough boards that our opponents can't play. The likes of Artifact Scythe are still a really, really reasonable option that you can get into, still very easily even without the additional miscellaneous sources, and scything your opponent is definitely not something to sniff at. Now anyway, of course, these are just some of my rambling, some of my thoughts that I thought I'd share with you all because, of course, a lot of people really aren't sure what they want to do. Maybe don't necessarily have as much perspective or not really sure where to start. Well, this hopefully will give you some ideas. I don't want to be all doom and gloom and say that you can't go second. You absolutely can. It really just depends on what you're playing against. For me personally, I play at highly competitive locals. So the majority of players are playing top tier decks. As a result, I want to play the best decks I have available to me. And then, of course, if you're someone who plays remote duels and that kind of thing, you're probably going to want good options as well. It's just something to keep in mind. Of course, there's plenty of ways to do it. There's no necessarily right or wrong way to do it. It's just my personal opinion. Now, hopefully you found this video entertaining or informative in some capacity. I don't know why you fucking would, but here you go. But by virtue of the fact that you made it this far into the video, hopefully you have enjoyed it enough to have hit subscribe so that you can see this kind of absolute nonsense in future. Or at least if nothing else, you've hated it enough that you couldn't possibly turn away. But anyway, that is all for today's video. Thank you very much for coming along. I do really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.